So welcome back everyone. So uh, now we will talk about present continuous tense shortly. Now, first of all, let's remember the structure of continue, present continuous tense. So when we're using present continuous tense, we need M is R plus verb ing. We need both of them, all right? Just M is R is simple present tense. We need both of them here, M is R and verb ing. They should be here, okay? What about the function of present continuous tense? Now, present continuous tense has two basic functions. We use present continuous tense for events or activities happening now, right now, and for events happening temporarily around now. So it's temporary action. It will finish. It's not going to last forever. No. So if it's going to last long, we use simple present tense, of course. But it's temporary action. So for temporary action, uh, we use present continuous tense. So my roommate is watching TV now. This is an event happening at the moment. But look at this one. My roommate is studying Spanish this semester. Now this is temporary. It will finish. It's happening around now. Maybe not right now, but it's happening around now and it will finish in the near future. So here we need present continuous tense. And this is an interesting use of present continuous tense for our personal and close future plans. Not far away, but close future plans and they need to be personal. But be careful, this is future time, okay? So, I'm seeing a movie tonight. Would you like to join? So this means I'm going to see a movie tonight. Would you like to join? It's the same. It's a personal and close future plan. We are moving our house this summer. Again, it will happen in the future, but it's close future, not far future, no. And it's a personal plan. It does not include uh, too many other people, okay? It's a personal plan. So, present continuous tense, we can say in a summary, has got two basic functions for events happening now and around now, and for future plans that are personal and that will happen in the close future. Now, we have some common time expressions again with present continuous tense. Let's take a look at them. First of all, now and at the moment, they mean they have the same meaning. Nowadays and these days, they mean around now, okay? For the time being and for now, for temporary events. So an example is, Tom is living with us for the time being. It's temporary. It will end soon, hopefully, maybe. Still, Ted is still preparing for the party. So still is used here in the middle, as you can see. Oh yeah, so these are the most common time expressions. And I have a beautiful song for you by Rod Stewart. This is a very old song, actually, and it's I'm Sailing. Now, this song is full of present continuous tense. You will just love this song if you don't know it. Now, let's listen. I am sailing. I am sailing. Oh, 
beautiful song, isn't it? Uh, so if you love the song, uh, you can go and listen to the whole thing. It's by Rod Stewart, I Am Sailing. All right, uh, so uh, let's take a short break right here. So after the break, we will talk about state verbs. So we will go back to simple present tense and present continuous tense, actually, and we will talk about state verbs. See you after the break. <laughs> 